When I started my Ark Survival Evolved series, my goal was to complete the island before the release of Ark 2. Since then, a lot has changed. Ark 2 was put on the back burner and a remaster of the original game was announced. Due to choosing to take part in the monarchy, a hugely fun creator collaboration and a lack of room on my SSD, I was unable to complete the series before the new game's release, but I don't want to leave it unfinished. Since taming my Basilosaurus, I've built a water pen, taken on the caves and collected all of the artefacts and bred armies of tames. It's finally time to take on the island's three guardians, the Megapithecus, Broodmother and Dragon, and defeat the Overseer to ascend from the island. Let's get cracking. Ari Tinkers, I'm Toast Bloke, and today is the day I've been building towards. I'm super excited and super nervous because I'm going to be taking on the island's three guardians. Now, I've done loads of work in regards to breeding, in regards to doing caves and getting crates, and I feel like I'm as prepared as I'm ever going to be. Now, here's hot water bottle. I'm gonna pick him up because it's gonna be a little bit cold where we're going to. The guardian I wanna start off with, the first boss fight I wanna to do today is the Megapithecus. Now that's because it is the lowest HP of all of the bosses and also it's the one I'm strangely worried about most. And I'll explain why when we get over to the blue obelisk. This is so nerve wracking and it shouldn't be, but I don't feel like I've got quite enough to do the Alpha Megapithecus safely. I'm hoping I do, and I'm gonna give it a go, but this could go wrong. Now the reason is, I could not for the life of me find a good Rex Saddle blueprint. I just couldn't. It was impossible. I found everything else that I would need for the game to do the bosses, but just not that, that one thing. And that's why I wanna start here, because this saddle only has 54 armor. You want more than apprentice, but having something is better than nothing. Now I've got my Rexes here, and I've got a Ute, and I've been leveling these up using the Lystrosaurus just around the bottom, and I think I'm ready to head in. I've brought the artifacts and the trophies that I need over here, and I'm only gonna go in once. I was going to do Gamma, Beta, and Alpha, but I don't have time for that. We're gonna jump in with Alpha straight away. Now I also have the option of taking the Daedon in if I want. I just don't know if I feel like that's a good idea. Now each of these dinos has around 20k health and 700 damage. Some of them a bit less, but we are looking fairly good and I'm hoping it's enough. Now to make sure I don't take anything wrong into here, I wanna pick up these Lystrosaurus, where are they? There they are. I just want to get rid of them, remove them from the equation. Because if I take them into the boss fight, it's going to be an absolute disaster. So I'll just clear these up and get those out of the way. Right, the Lystrosaurus are away and I'm feeling a little bit better about going in there. The only issue is I need to decide about this here. Do I want to take the deer down? I don't think I do. It's just going to run around like a headless chicken. It's going to try and heal, and it's probably going to get in the way and die. And with this boss being fairly weak, I'm hoping that these Rexes at this level, with these saddles, can do this. I'm hoping they can do it. I'd rather have the extra Rex, so I think that's the way we're going to play this. I've got Med Bruise and everything, so I think I'll be fine. I've got my Curry, and I'm not icing yet. I haven't got Ice Cube, even though... You know, it's supposed to be cold. Unless it's colder in there, I don't know. I've not done this boss before. Now I've got everything that I need here. And I was going to do one of each level. I was going to do Gamma, Beta, Alpha, but we're not, we're not. We're jumping straight in the deep end and hopefully we can come out victorious. I've got my Megalonia Toxin, my Megalodon Tooth, my Spino Sail, the Rezino Claws, and my Thylacaleo Hook Claw. And I'm hoping that that is everything that I need, and that I'm pretty much ready to go. Now, saying that, I've just started ice cubing. Maybe it's to do with the time of day, maybe it's a bad idea, but yep, that's unlocked the alpha boss. Ooh, it's all becoming a bit too real now. Because it's cold, 
because it's cold, I'm going to take my furs in. I feel like I need to. I've got those on the Argentavis. And I don't even have a full set, but let's just see how this helps. Oh, fantastically. Because I do not want to waste, let's be real, a spot on the Otter. As much as I love hot water bottle, I'd rather not waste a Rex just to feel a little bit warmer myself. And this is doing the trick anyway. So I think we're all ready to go. Now I want to check that these are all on whistle. Yeah, it looks like the Rex is all are. That's the Otter that's not. And also get them on passive. And then from there, I think I'm in control. I think we go in, I think we give this a try. Oh, I'm not ready, I'm definitely not ready, but, I've, but I kinda am. Let's just see, how do I do this? Do I just click on here? I'm actually so scared. Let's hope 20k health, 700 damage, and a 50% saddle is good enough to kill the Megapithecus. I'm concerned it's not going to be, but we're going to try anyway. I want to be next to my Yuki, who was purely there to boost the Rexes, and then we're going to get stuck in. Ah, uh, is this a good idea? I don't have time to prepare more. This is it. The series needs to be over, and I need to complete this game. I want to move on to the next one. Ark Survival Ascended is here. Right, this has worked okay. Now I want to whistle these out of my way. Oh my gosh, this is so scary that I'm actually here. I've seen other people do this so many times, but I've never done it myself, and I can see the boss up there. Now, the trick apparently is to aggro this. Will it see us? Will it come? Can I get it to chase us? Hello? I'm right here. There we go. And I want to run. I want to run, and if I can, take cover behind my Rexes. Now the reason is there's a little death pit to my left, which is insta-kill, and I do not want to deal with that. Oh no, I can't see. It's here, it's here. Fight it, fight it. The neutral, at least I'd like to fight it, but neutral will do. There we go. And we've just got to hope that these guys can absolutely mince through it. My job is to give them a boost with my raw. Come on. Courage raw. The health's going down. It's looking good. I just don't know how good it's looking. Don't hit me with that rock. I'm, I'm not involved. I'm gonna keep an eye on my stamina. That's what I've leveled up on this. Full stamina. I just went wild. And this is going well. This is going better than I thought. I can't see damage on my Rexes. And we're coming up to halfway. Oh my god. The nerves, the nerves are still there, but they, I'm not gonna lie, they're starting a lesson. They're starting a lesson. I do feel better. I think we've got this. I think we've done it. This is the one I was most worried about, purely because I've never done it before. And these Rexes didn't get no good saddles. But my breeding seems to have paid off. So I'm, come on, come on. I don't want to jinx it. Can we courage raw, please, some more? Just keep that on there. And you, you keep doing things that way, good. Don't bring them anywhere near me, and I will be happy. Come on, come on. It's going down. It's going down. Yes, we've done it. Oh my God, that feels so good. No losses. Oh, I'm worried these other boss fights are going to be way too easy then. If this is the one I was scared about. Do I have to jump off and grab things off its corpse? No, I've got things in my inventory already. I've got the flag at least. Do my Rexes have everything else? I'm guessing a Rex must have picked them up when they killed it. Tends to be what happens. It just makes me nervous. Like... I'd like to be able to find the stuff and just know that I've got it, but there's nothing on the Megapithecus. We've got 20 seconds to just chill. I do nothing. I'm fine in this temperature. The Rexes have done an incredible job, and I'm just over the moon. That is boss number one taken care of. The one with the lowest health pool, but the one I didn't feel I was ready for. So that's a really nice surprise. Let's get back. Come on then, let's do this. Yeah, we came out victorious. I'm so happy. We need to find the stuff that we've earned. Let's see what's going on here. These guys are all just going to be in an absolute pile. So I'm going to sort them out. I'm going to find out who's got the goodies. 
And then that gets us time to move on to the next boss. 220 element and our Alpha Megapithecus trophy, which we will need to get into the tech cave. That's all to come to, there's so much, but I think I'm just gonna leave these guys here and move on to the next fight. So yeah, where's hot water bottle? Sorry, hot bottle, it was just shorter. And my pal here, Jim Jr. And I think we just, we head out. So a little bit of time has passed since we defeated the Megapithecus because I needed to go and get some food and I also started getting really worried about this fight. I felt confident about it, I really did, especially with some of the things that I've got, but I completely misjudged the Megapithecus. I thought it would be hard, it was easy. Now, it's a good thing if this is easy, but I'm worried that I've misjudged it again and I'm actually wrong and it's, it's really gonna be difficult. Now, the reason I was confident is because I had this, look, I managed to get this out of a drop and it is class. And I even remembered to do a mind wipe and craft it with full crafting skill when I made the saddles. So my saddles, they're just great, they're spot on. Couldn't really be any better. Now also I got some good mutations with these guys. If you have a look, we've got some nice colors going through the ranks there. And they are about 30K health and I'm pretty sure about 600 damage. So I'm hoping that's good enough. I was reading online, you needed about 30 to 40k, about 700 to 8 when it comes to the damage. So I'm just crossing my fingers and hoping this is okay. But because I'm worrying, and I've done this boss before on the centre using a specific method, seen it done on the island using this method, and also just want a backup, I feel like this is a good thing to do. I might trade out one of these Megatherium for a Procoptodon. Yes, it sounds weird, but if I remove one of these and just take them out of the area, yes, I lose a tanky boy. But if these guys somehow fail and they die, I can jump on my Procoptodon and get on one of the mushrooms on the wall and try and finish this boss off with my shotgun, which is a good shotgun. And that's why I've picked up some extra ammo from home as well. So I think I'm as ready as I could ever be to go. Well, that's a lie. I could definitely be more ready, but I'm ready to go. I'm just not ready to go, if that makes sense. So let's grab the tributes first, since the RG talons are at the top. And then I want the artifacts, and it's the clever, it is the hunter, and it is the massive. So that's everything I believe that I'm going to need to trigger this fight. And I guess we're going to get in and we're just going to see what happens. Actually, actually, do you know what I need to do? Behaviour. Ignore group whistles. I need this to just stay with me until I'm ready to use it. I don't want it to go charging in or anything. So, yeah. These teams have had the best mutations I could have hoped for out of all of them. They've got the best saddles. If this doesn't work, I'm going to be so, so surprised. But I'm feeling nervous. I'm still feeling nervous. I don't think you can ever be sure with this game. So I'm just hoping for the best. They are all in the circle. Yeah. I think you can have them further back, but I move them in when they're smaller just to make sure. Because I have had in the past, some things get left behind if they weren't super big and sticking their heads right in. So I think we're good. It looks good. I can see the edge there. We're fine. Feet's in, heads are in. We're in. Right then, let's do it. We're going to jump on here. And I'm going to whistle the Megatherium over here. I just want them to move first. And then if I whistle them to come around and then get them to lock on, I might get better coverage. I'm just going to follow in and I'm going to courage roll. We are going to help these guys get through this. Got an even amount of females and males. Hopefully... That will keep our mate boost for as long as possible, depending on what happens. But these are doing fairly good damage. It's not as fast as I would have imagined, but they're doing it. They probably haven't got their insect buff, to be honest. Not yet. But this is looking all right. This is looking all right. Could be going worse. I've had no casualties yet, which is also fantastic. Come on, come on, come on. Is this boss, believe it or not, it's harder than the other one. This is the second hardest boss. I think a lot of people consider it easier. I don't know why. It's definitely easier, I feel, to get the artifacts for it. 
seems a bit backwards to me. But it's a harder boss. But it's easier to get to see it. Come on, this is going well. This is going all right. Oh, keep staying alive, guys. Keep staying alive. Just going to whistle. Make sure they're still all locked on the brood. I'm not so bothered about the Ariane yours. I kind of want some to sneak in around the back. I'm worried that some can't get damage there. Can we get some to move? And then pull them in. Right, we've got our first death. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But that looks like better coverage to me. Another one's dead. But it's alright, we've lost... Oh, we've already lost two, we've lost three. Or is that another one? I can't tell if they stayed on there, I wasn't looking. But if extra ones have died. But we're coming up to halfway. Good, good stuff Get on the back. Look at them thinking. Who said the AI on this game wasn't good? Look at them finding space. Rearranging. Right, this is looking great. How many do we lose? I don't know, but it looks like because we've lost them, these are all tucking in a lot better and doing a much better job. Oh no. Considering we lost no Rexes, this isn't great. But let's just, just hope they're still going to make it through. Even if a handful gets through, it'll be nice. I don't want to have to finish this off by chance at the end of the shotgun. But I just feel like it's a nice back up. Oh, the cop the is still out the way, right? Yep, just chilling. That's what we want to see. What a health nearly. Come on. There's still plenty of them as well. Hang on, the spider's on me. What are you fighting me for? Yeah, that's it, exactly. Go back over there. Keep locked on, keep locked on. I'm trying to work out if I should get them to fight the spiders. So they get their buff. So don't seem to be getting much of a buff. So only every so often they're getting kills on them. They're level 500. Come on, this is going down. This is going down. These are doing a great job. Now that there's some out of the... Mm, spoke too soon. Now there's some extra ones out the way. I feel like we're doing a better job. I feel like the damage is more even. I feel like there's been less deaths. But they're starting to die now because they've been in the heat of it for a while. Come on. No, no, no. Don't fail us at the end. I mean, to be honest... Oh, no. I'm going to back away a little bit. It doesn't matter if these guys don't do it. It doesn't matter if it comes down to me. I'm not going to be using them again for anything. It's legit just for this fight that I bred them. And I was going to use Rexes until I got super lucky with mutations. But it looks like we're going to get through with them. Come on. Come on. Hey! We've done it! I cannot believe it! Oh! I was so nervous there. I was nervous going in, but I was more nervous when we were in here when all that death was happening. But it looks like we're going to get to keep everything. Do I need to pick everything up? Nope, one of the teams has got it. And I've got my flag. This is incredible. Do I want to pick Kitan? I want to pick these saddles back up. I know that much. If I can get some of the saddles back, because they were steep to pay for. Steep, I tell you. Wow. Yeah, we're going to lose quite a few, but... Part of the game. Part of the game. At least we've got these. And we can keep breeding them. I think I've got breeders back at base as well. I didn't just get rid of them. Didn't put my breeders out. So a bit of pull these. It's just annoying having to level things back up. You know. To the right levels. And everything. To make sure that they're going to be good enough to fight. I think we've got quite a few saddles back there. And we're out of here. We have done the second of three Island Guardians. That is our second boss fight complete. And I'm super happy, but look at the mess. These guys are so much more wrecked. So much more wrecked. Ooh, wow. So they've got better saddles than the Rexes by far. Better health. And they still come out an absolute mess. That's not clever. One of these is going to have the goodies. And it looks like I found a first shot. Yeah, 148 elements, not too shabby. Is that all I need to pick up? Looks like it is. We've got the Ellie, we've got the trophy. We're making moves. This is wonderful. It's actually wonderful. Let's pop that in the RG. Let's get this in the RG. And yeah, let's head out. Don't be fooled. I might be smiling on the outside, but I can assure you I am tearing up on the inside because I'm dreading this. This is the fight that I'm most scared of when it comes to the three guardians. Obviously, 
There's the Overseer, but I'm not thinking about that right now. This is the one that I am most nervous about. I'm terrified, in fact. Now, I think I am going to take in my second set of flak here. Hang on, I just picked that up. Did I not have one on the RG already? I did. But I also had Gilly because I wondered, right, there's Demorphodons in here and they take hits at you, not your team. And I was worried that they might get us and I thought about taking the Gilly because they might not be able to see us. But as soon as I start causing trouble, they're coming for us. Now I've accidentally went and got flat because I forgot that I had it. And I'm wondering if I triple up on the flak. That's got to be a better idea. More armor, right? It's got to be a better idea than Gilly, especially when it's... Gilly this poor. I think I'm going to leave that there and we're going to take that. I think that's more interesting. Now, as well as my armor to protect me, I'm going to be relying on my Therizinosaurus. And these are beauties, but they're not as good as I would like them to be. Now, you can see them mutated with their lovely little pink stripe. And I have managed to get 20k points, not points, I've got 20k health. And I've also got between 550 and 600 damage on these. Now, this is apparently good because when you use Veggie Cake, it can only replenish health up to 21k. So anything around here is nice. And on top of that, I managed to get a decent BP, a Mastercraft Fairy Saddle BP. And I used the Mind Wipe and all of my crafting skill points to make these. So they should be decent. Now, I don't feel confident, but maybe that's a good thing. I didn't feel confident about Megapithecus. And that went better than the Broodmother that I was expecting to do well in. So it could be a good sign. It could be a good sign. We're going to see. But let's get the Aloe Brains across. We want the Artifact of the Cunning, the Immune, the Sky Lord, and the Strong. I'm going to want to bring all of the other tributes across. Don't think I need that many of them. I'm pretty sure I need like all 10 of those. And is that everything? I think that's it. Let's have a little wander inside and see if I've got all of the things I need. Get them on the terminal and hopefully this lights up and says, hey, you're good to go. And it has, lovely. Now I'm going to trigger this before I change my mind. Oh, actually, let's check whistles. Right, we're looking good, we're looking good. And I'm on a UT again. And I've also got this, I was going to say, I've got some Kaelian soup, which is meant to help with the heat. So I need to down that, chuck it down the floor just before we go in. Make sure that I don't have to go into my inventory once I'm in there. So we'll wait for about five seconds, I think. Six, five, we're going to risk it to four. And we'll get that. And then I think we're ready to go in. As well, I've got med brews. I'm going to be spamming them, I guess, if the Demorphodons come for me. My goal in this is to just stay alive when the Demorphodons come and hope the Therries do everything else. Like I say, I'm not sure if they're ready enough. Oh, I can see a shadow. Whoa! Oh my god. I know that it's big from Survival of the Fittest, but my goodness. It's huge. They fly so high. I didn't think it was going to be. Right, that's coming for me. What is that? What is that? Oh wow, that sounded like a bomb. Oh, now this thing's coming for us too. Right, this is where I need help. I need help from my pals here. I'm going to whistle neutral. Why am I stuck on this? Don't get this stuck. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. I'm going to get done by the dragon. Can I get out of there? I need to get out of here. This isn't good for me. Kill the Demorphodons. Quick. Kill them. The dragon's coming down. Right, one's dead. Can you kill this one as well? Can I run it back pastures and can you just kill it? Just kill it. The dragon's here. Oh my goodness. Why is that Demorphodon alive? Why are they over there? Don't come over here, you pillocks. Oh my goodness. They've, they've left the Demorphodon. Like idiots. Right. Can you just attack that? Fight it now. They're going to go in the lava. It's all going to be over because they're stupid. No, don't you come for me. I'm not ready for this. Can I kill this? I want a courage roar then, but I need to end this. Oh, I'm going to have to get in there and give them a roar. I'm really worried. Oh, wow. It's out of there already. Follow me, guys. Follow me. Please follow me. Passive. Just follow us out of the lava. You're just stupid. What is going on? He's over here yet. It's back down. 
What is happening? I don't understand this fight. Right, fight it now. Fight it now. It's in a better position. No, let me out. What are you doing? I'm not it. What are you coming this way for? Have a roll. And I need to get out. Am I okay? I'm okay. Let's have some reviews. This is a mess. This is such a messy fight. Why am I getting hit by flames? I'm nowhere near them. I haven't even checked to see if these are doing any damage. No, they haven't been, but it's going down fast now. That's due to a rough start. Hopefully these guys are alright. At least the demorphodon has gone. That was horrible. Is that going to happen again? I hope not. Oh my word. Should I change my black now? What's it like? That's not bad. Look, we've lost our first Derry. Casualty number one. Not what I was wanting. The way I'm melting this dragon. These are more than capable enough. We just need to stay alive. That's two gone. I'm worried. If they hadn't gone in the lava at the start, I think we'd do this. Three gone. This isn't good. This is really bad. We were doing so well. Look through the past quarter of the way. That's amazing. Go on, that. Lasses. Got this. Come on, keep going. Go on. They're actually melting it. Oh, no. Right, that's not good. Come back for me. Come back for me. You guys need to protect me. Oh, is that a fireball? I heard something. Oh, no, it is. Right, we've moved them out the way, though. Is it going to do another one? It sounds like it does two each time. Follow me. Follow me. Don't get hit. Don't poo now. Don't poo. Right, we're hitting you, bro. We're hitting you, bro. Because I've got a feeling... This seems to be coming in waves. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Take these down. Take these down so I don't have to. Because I'm not going to manage. And if there's no more for Dons, please get rid of them. They get here late, that's the problem. Go on, go on, go on. Kill them. No, my health, my health. Med bruise, med bruise. Med bruise, there's one more. Get it. Get it. And move, move, move. Move. Dragon's coming in over there. Oh, that has gotten better. Right, an attack, attack, attack. I need a courage roar. I need to get these guys up. Why am I on fire again? Why? There's no need of water. I need to just roar. Come on, these need to be up and running. If they can do another melt like they did last time, there's just less of them now. It looks like it's ticking down slower, but who knows? My youth's not looking good. Should have maybe brought something to feed it with. What's my flat like now? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna change it out. Just in case. We have another roll. Oh, I've come too close. The burn. The burn. I need to watch out for that. That's the bane of my life right now. Oh, no. Look at my youth's health. This is actually wrecking it. It's going to die. I cannot afford to get hit again. Do I'm getting it so close, to be honest? Yeah, look. I need it to be nowhere near it. Look at its health, though. We haven't had any casualties this round. Probably because they're not on fire in the lava. Oh, there's one though, I spoke too soon. I always do it. Come on, I need as many of these to survive as possible. I do have more, but these guys are fully leveled and stuff, ready for the overseer, so I'm hoping I can get them through. They're melting it, they're melting it. It's gonna fly off though, isn't it? It's not gonna let us have the kill yet. Look at my ute. Oh, there we go. Follow me, follow me, passive, follow me. Right, I need your protection. Stop there. Oh no. Move boys, move girls. Let's go. Fireballs coming. Don't get us trapped. No, no. That's what I didn't want. You idiot. Can you just come here? Is it landing? Don't poo. Why'd you keep pooing in stupid places? Oh my god, I need these on you. Well, I need help. I need help. I'm down. I'm dead if these don't save us. If these don't save us, I'm dead. Get the med bruise in. I think the dragon's gonna land on us and kill us, isn't it? Yeah, that's the mount fire. No, somehow I've avoided that one. What? Is it doing another? No. I wonder if I can just avoid these dimorphodons and get these to fight. Don't get me! Can you just go after it? Come on, save us! Save us! He's nearly gone! And get out of distance. And we gotta roar. Come on, come on, come on. This has been an absolute mess, but we're so, so close. If they can do what they did before, it's dead. I need them to stay alive, though. I need them to be fighting. Oh, what am I whistling you before? That stops them. Is that what I need to whistle? 
Oh, I'm just panicking and losing my head. It's nice being behind this though. That is still getting melted. Look at them go. They are putting on a class performance. Wow. So these are decent, these devies after all. Come on, come on, come on. We're gonna have to breed a few more, or at least level up a few more for the overseer. I was planning to anyway, which can take more down the cave with you. But oh wow. Oh wow, this has been touch and go. Oh, so close. Come on. He's have got it. Got plenty of time left. Just need that final bite. Come on. Come on. And somehow the Yuti survived as well. What is going on on my screen? Oh, I'm so happy. Wow, they are not looking good. And there's quite a lot, to be fair. I thought we lost loads, but maybe we've got over half left. Oh, well, that was horrible. I'm not going to lie. That is definitely the worst. Do I have saddles and cakes? Yeah, let's try and pick as many of these up as possible. Because I don't want to have to craft any more. This stuff's expensive. In fact, the cakes, to be honest, are going to be too heavy. Let's get the saddles. That's harder. They're harder to deal. They're harder to make than the cakes. I'm going to chuck the cakes. In fact, can I get cakes onto these? If I can feed them the cakes, they can bring the cakes back. Right? Yeah, that works. Ooh, they're eating them. So one of the problems is some of them might have run out of cakes. Is that what I'm seeing? Right, we've saved some cakes. We've saved some cakes. And we've saved a few saddles. But we're out of here. Oh, my word. That was by far the most stressful, the most janky boss fight of them all so far. I wonder if that's harder than the Overseer. I know the Overseer is hard because you've got to get through the tech cave. But I feel like that could be the most difficult thing I've done in Ark in my whole 10k hours. I don't know how I've not done it yet. That's what happens when you play PvP. You avoid this stuff, but... Wow. Got a bit of a lump in me throat. So yeah, we've completed the Megapithecus, the Alpha Broodmother, and now the Dragon. And we should have on one of these teams... This one doesn't look like it's been touched hardly. But we should have on one of these teams some element. And also our trophy, our alpha dragon trophy, which we're going to use to get into the tech cave. This seems mental. I've wanted to do this for so long and it's finally all happening. It's finally all coming together. I'm super excited. But also, I still, I still have butterflies. I still feel nervous. I still feel a bit worried. Where's the stuff? Please don't say it stayed on the dragon this time. Hang on. What's just been killed? What, well, bye? What, is there something in here killing things? Because it just died because it was low on health. Well, we'll have that saddle back. Wow. Hang on. Health? Yeah. What? I hope none of the others die. Maybe they need food. Maybe it's hungry. Thought I had food in here. Oh well. Come on. Where's this stuff? There it is. Right. Dragon. And look at all the element you get from that. Right, well, I'm going to have to take care of these guys. This is the little army as planned on taking them to the tech cave. I do have some more additions, but I'm going to have to sort out some more. <laughs> Especially since this dude just couldn't hang on to the end there. But I'm going to go away. I'm going to use my tech and my new tech engrams. Let's have a look at them. We'll have loads, won't we? Engrams, tech. Yeah, look at all of this. So I wonder if you get these off the Overseer then, because we've unlocked all of the other tech engrams for this map, because I think there's more tech. Is there not more tech? There's definitely more tech, but maybe you don't unlock it like this. But yeah, incredible. So I'm going to get to work. We're going to get our replicator down, and we are going to start crafting our tech suit. Have we got all the pieces? We'll have maybe the tech rifle. We might, we might have some fun with tech and just see how it goes but yeah i'll get that sorted i'll get prepared and then we'll be ready to take on the tech cave and the overseer
but not today because I'm going to call that there guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. There's only going to be one more in the series where I get through the tech cave and take on the overseer. So make sure you like, subscribe and ring that notification bell so you know when that video drops. Also, check out the links in the description below. You can join my Discord and things there. It'll be class to see you. But until next time, you guys take care and I'll catch you later. Chariot.